Hello friends, Chris here, Food FAQ. Welcome to the kitchen with me. Today we address we are addressing a request for chimichurri sauce. I'm doing steak today, so obviously I'm shooting this video at the same time with this chimichurri sauce, but it goes great on grilled chicken, fish, seafood. I would even put it on lamb. Now here's the thing, you can go on with a bit of mint in there for the lamb, but um, I'm not a huge fan of mint. So here we go, a simple, quick, little bit spicy chimichurri sauce. In my food processor here, I'm gonna go in with cilantro. And all the uh, exact amounts I use here will be mentioned down in the description of the video. There's some cilantro snuck into my salt. So you may as well put in some salt, and I'm using sea salt. Don't need to go too heavy with that. Three cloves of garlic that I just gave a rough chop to. Couple ways I'm going to personalize this to my own liking besides leaving out that mint. You can go in with mint, you can go in with oregano if you want. I like going in with a bit of lemon juice just to give it just a little citrus kick. So half of a lemon. The other thing I'm going to do, and this is because this is what I have, technically I would use um, like a red wine vinegar or something, but I have some apple vinegar, apple cider vinegar. It's gonna go in with that. Use whatever type, type of vinegar that you like. I have here a nice big whack of parsley and I trimmed off all the, the tough stems and that's Italian parsley. And the stems are relatively tender that are there. So you can see there's still some tender stems there, but there's a lot of flavor in that. I like going in with a little for for a little kick. I've got here three uh, bird's eye pepper or Thai chilies. In the Caribbean, we call it bird pepper. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to give this a kick, now remember this is not traditional to the recipe. You can leave that out. I want some fresh ground black pepper in there. Probably going to go in with about two tablespoons or so of water. And last, I've got here some good olive oil. Just going to go in with that olive oil. Here's the thing, we're going to have to pulse this and keep using a spatula or something and keep moving it down. Now you can obviously add more liquid to it, but I would hold back because you don't want it too runny. On the food processor now, you can do this in your blender and just buzz it away. And basically all you're doing now, as I mentioned earlier, keep pulsing, then you're gonna open it up, push it down a bit and keep working it until you get uh, a sort of a textured um, paste. Chris here, food FAQ, a lovely peri peri sauce. This is gonna go on to some nice grilled steaks. Yeah, it is minus 10 outside right now, but I'm gonna go on that grill and do my thing. Let me see if I can give you guys a close up of that. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. If you'd like to request something covered on food FAQ, hit me up on Instagram at Caribbean Pot.